Welcome to a read along with Dr. Powell. We are in section in the book, Discrete Perspectives in Mathematics. We are in section 216. Okay, so we've been talking about um, a little bit about block out maps um, as, as um, merges that preserve uh, intersection and union. Um, and we're gonna see kind of how it relates to this subset idea, okay? Um, so for instance, here is a subset of this and we can put an arrow. Now we can see that this is a subset of this one because where there's ones here, there's ones there. So we're, so these elements, so all the elements that are in this one are also in this one. So therefore it's a subset. All right. Um, so let's look at what happens when we start, when we take this and we block things out. Now, if we block things out, um, we still have the same idea that everything that's in here, that's not blocked off the ones that appear, if they're down here, then they'll be up there. Um, the same relationship holds, which actually tells you that block out maps preserve this arrow thing as an existence problem. Should be pretty clear there. Um, but does it also preserve it as a partial order? <clears throat> okay, so um, let's look at uh, so let's look at this fiber of you know of a block out merge. In fact, let's just consider this block out merge. We're blocking out the first and the fourth entries. Okay, the first and fourth entry. So let's look at. Um, everything in this fiber. So basically we're gonna be looking at interchanging this one there and that one there. So first and the fourth entry, and we do it in all possible ways, looks like this. In fact, we could put arrows between them in a subset diagram like this, where when we have the most ones, we're up here. When we have the least ones, we're down here. And then everything else is kind of falls between. And we can put kind of the subset type type idea happening right here. Okay, now um, notice that every subset between 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, so down here, and 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 is merged together. All right, so all these guys are merged together. And it's kind of, notice, I guess I italicized that word between. Um, so everything between, okay, is in the same fiber between these guys, the bottom one and the top one. In fact, for here, it looks the same. This fiber looks the exact same. Is that kind of interesting? The fibers actually look the same in some sense. In fact, they're kind of like shifts of each other, just like um, in a skip pattern merge um, in modular arithmetic, where you're kind of skipping every so often. Um, those are like shifts of each other. And actually you get shifts of shifts here as well. With the block out merge, look the fibers, they're just shifts of each other. Everything between 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 1, 1, 1 is merged together. So um, blocking out map, block out maps actually preserve this between this property of partial orders. And, and actually, because of that, preserve these arrows of partial order. Um, uh, so you can so if you have A as a subset of B, that's the same thing as saying that A intersect B is A. It's another way of saying it, um, because if you intersect something with something that it's a, that's um, inside of, in fact, maybe we'll just draw a little picture to illustrate that. Okay, so um, let's suppose that we have a subs. Okay, here we go. We have um, this is a, and it's completely contained in B, right? It's contained in B. So then what's common between A and B? Well, it's just A itself, right? That's always true whenever we have, um, when A is a subset of B. Okay. So um, now, so if we're assuming that this, op that this bar merge operation preserves intersection, then we know that because this is true, we know that this will be true. All right, um, and this idea right here 
of intersect equals that. Well, this is the exact same thing as talking about the arrow, right? Just like this right here talks about this arrow. This talks about the arrow afterwards as well, making that statement. It's just kind of an illustration, um, um, intuitive illustration of that idea. Okay, now here is a, a fun and a useful fact. Um, there's a way of there's a way of visualizing the fibers of a block out map, um, kind of in the sh in as shifts, um, just as we were thinking before of of uh, shifts and a skip pattern merge um, of uh, of the integers. Okay, so and here's kind of an illustration of that. So the different colors represent different fibers. And this is um, for this particular merge. If we have um, a set of three things, and we're looking at subsets of that, and so for blocking out the first entry, um, then this is a little picture of what the different fibers are. Notice how the fibers look are kind of have the same type of structure, arrow structure, and um, as we keep, <clears throat> and let's look at another example. What if we're blocking out two elements? These are the two, look, there's two fibers now. And these two fibers look like this. Notice how they have the exact same structure. Um, so in fact, we might, we'll be using that type of idea later when we look at logic as well and Boolean algebraic expressions. <clears throat> so, okay. In particular, this is kind of interesting that um, that that everything that merges to the empty set, all this. So if you take all of these and you union them to this guy right here. So if you take this and union it to it, you get the same thing. You take this and union that guy, you actually get this guy in that position. If you take this guy and union that one, you actually get this one. If you take this one and you union that one, you get that one. It's kind of like what you what we're doing is we're taking this whole fiber, and if you union this whole fiber by just one element, just shift it over by one via union, you get this whole other guy. Kind of fascinating, but that's that it's just a direct shift instead of adding a whole fiber by something to get to another one. We sh we union one thing on, and you get to the next one. So you get from one fiber to another just by unioning one thing on. Okay, <clears throat> and I think that's that's pretty good for that. Um, and uh, okay, so everything between two different things are merged together between this property. Okay, and let's take a look at this example right here. Okay, so in this particular example, we're gonna be um, assuming that we have a merge that preserves union and intersection and also merges these two subsets together. Okay, so what else must be in the same fiber um, as, um, <clears throat> okay, so uh, what must be in the same fiber as, uh, as, this, as this guy or both of them? Okay, so what else must be in the same fiber? Um, um, it might be a question, or maybe the question might be at some point, like looking at an example like this, like what type of, can you describe the whole map or the whole merge, right? Like what's going on? Well, we've discussed in this section that it must be a, a block out map. Now, which block out map at minimum would do it? Wherever these two guys right here are different. In fact, they're different in exactly three locations. These first two locations, and the fourth location. In, fa in fact, if we scroll down, um, if you look at the work, um, you can walk through this. It's a lot like what we were discussing before um, with taking, with looking be um, before, the, before the merge versus after and replacements and things like that. But if you look down here, you'll notice that is what the block out map is. Um, so in fact, that block out map actually will tell you exactly what the fiber will look like. Okay, um, so notice that um, out, so outside those positions, I guess we just got zeros, right? 
which means that, um, <clears throat> okay, we just got zeros, I believe, right? Is that true? Yes, okay, we just got zeros. So that means that, um, yeah, it behaves. In fact, we got that, it's, okay, it's in the same same uh, boxes as the zero, 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 zero. So it's basically the empty, um, <clears throat> the empty subset or the empty set fiber. Okay, the fiber that with the empty set and um, how many elements are in that fiber? Um, well, there's going to, since there are three different variable uh, places for var varying, so we have zero, zero here, and then put anything you want in those red boxes, but keep a zero here and a zero here. Um, that's going to be what's in the fiber, what's in the, what's going to merge together. And the, um, and there's eight different possibilities because we have two things here, two things there, and two things there. So zero, one in each position. Um, so we have eight, um, different things in the fiber. How many fibers are there would be the other question is just varying these things, right? Okay. There's four different fibers and each fiber has eight things. And um, you could check that by multiplying it, right? Four times eight is 32, which maps matches two to the fifth, and there's five positions, so that's perfect. And um, okay, and there's one more, there's a couple more examples, um, but they've kind of fall this basic type of idea of looking at blockout maps. So I'll let you take a look at that. Thank you so much for watching.